celebrating the fact that I'm in love. In the United States of America, which I didn't think could happen. What is this? What is this? Being that I'm human, I can make mistakes. And today, today is the day that a million people, a billion people, approximately a billion, second largest religion on the planet, commemorate, mourn, Jewish people slaughtering one of their own to satisfy the empire. And I am no freaking different. Today is my crucifixion. The red sweater video. That was last year. This is the second annual. Celebration. Of me turning over the NYPD out of the Queens District Attorney's Office to the Civilian Complaint Review Board that found that they had committed a crime against me of acting privately under the color of law. That's big time shit. That means somebody tried to eliminate me illegally and it came out out of the police and the District Attorney's Office. The mayor telling the marshal to tell me. By saying to me, the mayor sends you his regards. What the fuck is that about? I make no part. It's audacity without repentance. Well, I done did to you guys, ain't nobody ever did before in life. I ain't never gonna get credit for because of my fucking skin color, but I can go to Canada and get credit for my people by being a hero. I'm a hero to my girl. That's why I'm so happy. I'm a hero to Priscilla. <laughs> everybody, I don't care. Everybody, everybody. Every, I don't care anymore about anything. I ain't never loved one human being like, I don't, I don't, nothing. She doesn't even know how old I am. I'm going to map one of your sisters. I spilled too much fucking blood, cost me too fucking much. I gotta get one of yours. And I'm gonna free her. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take one of yours and I'm gonna free her. My great grandfather did the same thing. He was a white man from Trinidad that took a black woman come to my country. And the product of that relationship is my grandfather who loved me to death. And said I had great promise and my mama said I was some kind of Moses. And the story she told to her sisters. That's more important to me to live that life than anything. And look at the miracle and the preciousness that was sent to me in the sun. I love me some jet black, big, thick, fat ass, happy headed sisters. <laughs> yes, I do. Big six foot, 285 pound motherfucker. I jump on that girl quick. And Priscilla, I love her charm. Oh. And her youth untarnished and still hopeful. Chumps all that shit. And she's so skinny, she, I mean, she's got nice tips. <laughs> She's dropped that gorgeous. She's so slim. She's like weighs 110 pounds. Now what in the fuck? <laughs> Would a greedy, lustful old motherfucker like me 
be so interested in such an absolute fucking marvel. Ow! It's called mad material when you get this fucking old and <laughs> you don't need this fucking much. You get such a bad motherfucker. You get such a fucking trophy that don't even know she's a trophy. She don't know shit. <laughs> and you get a chance to damn near play God by passing your hand over her and reshaping her. You get a chance to mold her. You didn't create her. But you get a chance to mold it and shape it and make it all yours, all to yourself. And let me show you what she looked like. And guess what? Not the old pictures. It's what I get today. And I'm going to get her to talk to you. Bye.